All right, so in today's subnautica video, we are going to be comparing the old Blade class submarine, which we see on the right over there, to the new and updated one, which is on the left. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so the first main difference between these two submarines here that we can already see is the size. So we can see on the left, our new and updated Blade class submarine is significantly smaller than the old one. The old one's a lot bigger, you know, wider and whatnot. So size is one of the main differences. Wow, the, the size comparison is actually actually crazy now i'm looking at it from a top down view the old blade class submarine is a lot lighter than the new one because the new one we can see has that nice black color on it which looks a whole lot better in my opinion at least than this grayish type of color looking at the back of these two submarines they look virtually the same as well except there is a difference back here because if we head over here to so the new blade class submarine and we look at the top and bottom we can see like these little light like lines of light right here that sits above like the main engine that's on the new Blade class submarine. If we go over here to the old one, that is non-existent. But we can see like right here, it's like a little bit. So it's like, it was almost like the creator planned on doing something like this with the old one, but just never did. And then ended up doing it with the new and updated one. So, you know, that's nice. Another main difference, as I'm sure we can all see right now, is the lighting. So we can see the new Blade class submarine over here has a ton of lights all over it. It's got those nice, green precursor lights and symbols all over the submarine and whatnot. The old Blake glass submarine does not have any lights on the outside or anything of that nature. The only thing that sort of glows on the outside is the engine and the like glass that comes from the cockpit. Now, something that is the same between these two submarines are the engravings that are on the sides, tops and bottoms of the submarine. If we see on the old one, we got these like little precursor engravings all over the submarine. Got these little squares right here. You know, and these are just all over the submarine. And if we look at the new one, over here even though the color is a bit darker so they are a little harder to see they are still there on the newer submarine so that is a nice 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 little similarity there and i like how they're used now on the newer one because they have these like little lights inside of them and whatnot so that's cool now if we head underneath we'll also find ourselves another similarity so if we see on the old blade class submarine right here we can see like the hatch has this like little glowing light ring around it to indicate like where the hatch is if we look at the new one it is still here. You know, that same little feature is still here, even though the light is a little bit brighter. These submarines are not that big and they were on, they were small enough for me to like just put them side by side together like this. Hence why I'm not doing the regular like split screen comparison like that, because they're not that large. So I can kind of just like compare them right next to each other. So another difference about these two submarines is going to be the exterior glass. So if we look at the new Blade class submarine right here, we can see the glass is a lot darker and it also looks a lot cleaner in general. Just looks really, really easy to see through and whatnot. So, you know, it looks like like some brand new glass, essentially. And then if we head over to the old Blade class submarine, we can see it is not that same new, you know, easy color to see through exactly because it is a little bit, not even a little bit, it's pretty dirty. You know, this glass looks super, super dirty with all those like weird like markings all over it. So there is that. It only really gets like a little bit cleaner towards the back, but towards the front, it's a little bit like discolored and dirty, like you've been driving around in some freaking dirt or something. All right, so those were all the exterior differences between these two submarines. And with that, we can now move on to the interior of both of these submarines and see what the differences are within them. All right, we'll start with the old Blade class submarine and then we'll compare the, we'll do the side-by-side -side comparison. So we head inside the old Blade class submarine. Considering it's a bigger submarine, we obviously have a little more room to move around in here. And I just teleported out of the submarine. That's cool. All right, so there's a lot more room to move around in this old Blade class submarine because it's obviously the bigger one. And then we also have these two giant thingy majiggies on the wall. These are the storage for your Blade class submarine. It's one on the left, one on the right. And it's indicated by these giant walls of light. We have the two batteries on the right side and then we have the two batteries on the left side. You can also build within this submarine. So that's also something to note. And then back here, we have our power cell. I said power cell, what? This is where the upgrades go for the Blade class submarine. It looks like a pedestal back here, but then it can also be seen as like a terminal almost. I'm just now seeing that it looks like a big old screen. And then if we head over to the front, we can also see the glass does not show whenever we're inside the submarine. So whenever you're looking out, the glass like is not green or anything like that. It just looks clear like this from the inside, but you can walk around and we have a big old seat right here and there's our terminal. Now I would like to mention something else. Whenever you get into the pilot seat of the old Blade class submarine, you cannot see the little terminal in front of you, which is going to be a difference between these two whenever I show you the new one. Something just a little bit funny I wanted to point out, these two, these power cells right here, the little power cell holders, they sort of look like trash cans, I ain't even gonna lie to you. 
but anyways, let's look at the new Blade class submarine. What in Davy Jones locker? All right, so inside the new Blade class submarine, we can see again, because the color is darker, the entire submarine is a lot darker on the inside. However, the two main like walls of storage that we have are not like giant walls of light. Instead, they're squares with like these big old line lights around them, which looks really, really nice. A lot better than the giant walls of light that we used to have. And then the power cells on the left and right hand side do not look like trash cans anymore because of this little like glowing ring around it. So that's nice. We got some line lights at the very top on the left and right hand side that sort of light up the interior a little bit better. And then the big old terminal in the back has also had some additions to it because the top is no longer like just empty. There's actually something on the top, this little, I don't even know what you would call this, but you know, there's something on the top now instead of it just being empty like it was before. It's a lot better lit than it was before as well because we can see all these little like lights all over it and then the terminals right there, just like we saw on the old Blade class submarine. And there's like a little lion light on the back of the seat, so that looks nice. However, we cannot walk in front of it. Like we can't walk in front of the seat like we could with the old Blade class submarine, again, because they're, the old one is bigger. Now, when you're piloting the new Blade class submarine you get in the seat, the terminal is actually gonna be sitting right in front of you. With both of these submarines, the glass does not show on the inside. So whenever you're looking out, it just looks like it's clear and whatnot. So do keep that in mind. But whenever you're piloting the new blade class submarine around the terminal will be like right in front of you and it'll actually be visible now I have said that this could be a potential issue because of how bright the terminal is as we can see right now it's nighttime it's just like a big old big old light blob on the bottom bottom of my screen right now because of how bright the terminal is so that could be a potential like thing that the old blade class submarine has over the new one is the fact that the terminal isn't visible so it's not like super bright and bright in your face. Now both of these submarines handle in virtually the exact same fashion, like as far as like speed and turn rate goes and all that. So I'm not gonna show that out of time's sake, you know, because there's, no, there's really no point since they basically play and handle exactly the same. I will show the base depth for both of these submarines and the other like depth modules because it is different. So if we go over to the upgraded blade class submarine over here and we hop inside, we'll see that the base depth for this submarine is 500 meters. And then whenever we put our depth modules in. So let's put the Mark 1 depth module in. It'll increase it to 900 meters. The Mark 2 depth module over here increases it to 1300 meters. And the Mark 3 depth module is 4800 meters, which is absolutely insane. But you know, it's a little bit overkill. So the submarine goes 500, 900, 1300, and then 4800 for all the different depths. This old submarine glitchy as I don't know what. All right, let me in. All right, I'm not even gonna. So we saw the base depth for this submarine is 1,000 meters. So we put in the Mark I depth module. It increases it to 1,300 meters. The second depth module increases it to 1,600 meters. And then the third one is 1,900 meters. So it's not nearly as drastic and overkill as the newer Blade class submarine is. So the new Blade class submarine can actually go way, way deeper than the old one at its max depth. So that is, that is kind of nice. But the base depth, the base depth of the old submarine is higher than the base depth of the new one but the max depth for the new one is higher than the max depth for the old one and i think that about covers everything all the differences between these two i will say i do like the updated one better even if even if that terminal is a little bit bright you know i can i can get i can get around that if it means that i'll have like a more detailed and awesome looking submarine i can get around the terminal being super bright but for some people that may be a deal breaker others you know might not really mind but yeah other than that that is about all i had for you thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one peace